Here are five steps that I'll be sharing with you to get started in cybersecurity. So we're midway into 2023 and you might be thinking that it's time for you to switch your career or maybe you've been thinking about this field cybersecurity but you're not quite sure where to start. Well lucky for you, if you haven't seen my previous video where I talk about the different domains that exist within cybersecurity, I highly recommend you go ahead and check that out. I'll link it in the description down below. You don't need to know exactly what domain you want to get into, but I highly recommend that you do think about what domain interests you the most because understanding what you like will make it that much easier for you to break into cybersecurity. Disclaimer, this is what I have been recommending people that want to get into cybersecurity and don't know where to start. So it is purely my opinion and you can follow it as is, or you can go ahead and call me a dummy. Step number one, find out exactly why you want to get into cybersecurity. If it's purely about money, I wouldn't recommend it. Now don't get me wrong, cybersecurity is one of those fields that pay fairly well but it is also one of those fields that change every day. Now, you don't necessarily have to live and breathe cybersecurity to survive, but you have to at least appreciate it enough and welcome change. Otherwise, you'll have a bad time. Step number two. For those that are coming into this field with zero or limited experience in IT, the number one thing I recommend is not to do a certificate like Security Plus. Instead, I recommend you enroll in a course or a program that teaches you general IT. This way it exposes you to the lingo and shows you how certain things work in IT. And trust me, you will thank yourself for not skipping this step. For those that have experience in IT and coming from a help desk role, for example, you can go ahead and skip the step or you can enroll in a course just to get a nice refresher. Step three, networking. Yes, both networking, chatting to people, attending conferences and going to events and networking, the technical one. Now, you don't have to be an expert in configuring routers or switches, but you have to understand the basics of how networks work. Terminology such as IPs, ports, subnets, bytes, services, I'm telling you, you have to learn this. If you don't, I'm gonna cry. Step number four. Now you can start thinking about certificates like Security Plus, as this will teach you the basics of cybersecurity and also teach you the lingo like what the heck is malware? Step five, hands-on experience. I'm sure you've seen some job postings out there that require X amount of years for a junior role. And truth be told, not a lot of people are gonna have that kind of experience. So what can we do? Well, the next best thing is hands-on experience. And you might ask, well, what do you mean by that? Well, there are multiple resources out there like Let's Defend, Cyber Defenders, try hack me and I'm sure there's many more. But no matter the resources, it all boils down to one single goal and that is lab work. Starting up your own lab, playing in your lab and not being scared to destroy your lab is a perfect way to get hands-on experience. Not only will you feel more confident in your skills, but you'll also feel a lot more confident during those interviews. Oh, and by the way, I'll be creating some videos in the future showing you how to build a lab and going through those resources that I mentioned previously. For those that stuck around, I thank you. And here is a bonus tip from me to you. Go to ChatGPT and type in, you are a security operations manager and you are looking to hire a junior security operations analyst. Provide five interview questions for the junior analyst to answer. This will provide you some examples of questions that may come up during an interview. And if you don't know the answer, don't worry. All you have to do is type in, how would you answer those questions? If you found this video informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.